Hello friends, myself Dr. Atul Nagpure and today I am going to discuss a very important concept in a green chemistry which is known as a cattle to cattle design also known as C to C approach. You are well aware that currently our earth has population of 7.8 billion and daily almost 3.8 lakh new babies are getting born so if you go with the same speed by 2050 we will have almost 10 billion population staying on this planet imagine this huge number and to this huge number we have to provide them food shelter cloth fuel vehicle and the list goes continues and to achieve all product we have to again go back toward nature to make new compound new material so we can feed them we can make their life happy and desirable Keep in the mind, my dear viewer, currently world facing a too much problem because day by day our fossil fuel, natural gas, coal, oils are getting exhausted. And on the other side, we are developing a mountain of the west and we hardly bother. As a human being, we are selfish. We take from the nature, we make what we want and after using, we throw it somewhere. This is a serious issue. To that serious issue, I am bringing you a very nice and challenging task which is known as a cradle to cradle design. This model based upon sustainable development that mimic the regenerative cycle of the nature in which waste is not the waste the waste can be again recycled so based upon that approach i am bringing you two different cycle one is called biological cycle and second is called as a technical cycle our nature follows the biological cycle let's start step by step a biological nutrient, biological nutrients are nothing but the organic material after use which can get decomposed and the decomposed nutrient will be the source of food for many forms of the life. From the biological nutrient we can develop the plants and the plants in the industry will be useful to make our product and that product we will use for some period of time and after using that can be decomposed because it is a biodegradable material and from that decomposed material again new biological nutrient get generated and so on the thing cycle get completely this is called as a biological cycle let us give me uh, one of the example of the nature how it follow biological cycle Consider cherry tree. At the end of the season, cherry tree will give rise to cherries and the leaf. Leaves and cherries will fall down on the earth, but they are not the best. Cherries are the source of food, and the leaves become the nut nutrient for many upcoming plants. Trees will give rise to oxygen and the oxygen are helpful for human being and various kinds of animal for breathing. We give back to them CO2 and CO2 they will use for photosynthesis process. My dear friends, look at the nature very carefully. How it works? For nature, nothing is waste. All biological nutrient can be again recycled and over and over again so the waste will not generate 
at all. Now look at the technical cycle. What technical cycle means? A technical cycle will use technical nutrients. Technical nutrients are non-toxic, non-harmful synthetic material made by human and does not cause any harmful effect to the environment and which can, which can again use in the cyclic process. So, technical nutrient when bring into the company from that technical nutrient various kind of products can be designed and that design product can be watch, can, can be a car, can be a cell phone, can be a laptop and so on. So after using that te technical you know product for some period of time and if get damaged we will return to them and after get disassembled we can able to extract a various kind of technical nutrient and this how the cycle gets continuously. I am giving uh, one nice example of product is called as a sigel S E A J E L and this is a type of biofoam is a high tech biofoam here yes means safe E means emulsion A means agar and the gel this is high tech biofoam and this product is developed on the basis of C to C approach in which remember in which we use red algae as a source of material and this is one of the best high quality thermal insulating material notably the sigel compound is also biodegradable and can be eaten as well so such kind of innovation such kind of idea we require in order to fit our product into the c2c approach let's give me the second example let's say we are trying to club both technical cycle and biological cycle say our uh, vendor has designed one shoe let's take this is shoe and upper part of shoe consists of technical nutrient and lower part is made up of the biological nutrient a customer went to the shopkeeper and he purchased the shoe after using for certain period of time if the shoe gets damaged now he can give back the same shoe to the shopkeeper and the shopkeeper will return to the industry now point to remember here i can recycle i can reuse technical part and if i remove lower lower biological part that can get decomposed and will be the resource of nutrient for some forms of the life and the same thing can again do now what we will do in industry we can make new types of shoes which having the same kind of technical nutrient and new biological nutrient so vendor will purchase the new shoes in a less quality similarly a customer when go to the shopkeeper he will have affordable price this is also design which club both technical and biological cycle my dear friends i wanted to make aware how serious problem we face in the coming years we are a human being are the self pe people we are too much self selfy what we do we take from the our nature we make what we want to live a high standard life and after using we dump it somewhere and we hardly bother my friends but nature follow a different rule for nature nothing is a waste he recycle he reuse over and over again 
सो पॉइंट टू बी हेयर कैन वी यूज नेचर लॉ कैन वी यूज एन आंसर इज यस वी कैन टेक नेचर एज अवर रोल मॉडल so based upon the c2c approach many industries has come up in the world and they sell their product by saying that model or product is based upon the c2c design i'm stopping this le lecture with one note remaking the way we make the thing thank you very much for watching signing off डॉक्टर अतुल नागपुर है थैंक यू